You see my little hanging buddy back there. Um, <clears throat> so I am going to run to Ulta to get some makeup. Um, probably go to the beauty supply and figure out what I'm going to do to my hair. Um, today is going to be a recording day for me um, for my other YouTube channel. Um, I am starting a second channel um, which is called Love's Nursery and um, it's a parent, a new parent education channel because um, if it's one thing I know a lot about is having babies. Um, so I decided to take that knowledge that I have and the experience that I have and I turned it into another um, channel and also a blog. Um, so if you would like to check that out, I'll put the link in the description box. And um, with no further ado, let's get into this video. getting ready to go to dinner with um, my sister and my cousin. Um, we are going to Red Lobster. Haven't been there in a few years. Um, so I am, you know, kind of happy just to be able to get up, get out. Um, I am off. It is Saturday. Um, I'm so happy to be off. I just wanted to show you a few things that I picked up on my recent trip to Alta. And, um, to Alta, I went to Target, of course. Um, those are two of my absolute favorite stores. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few things that I picked up. I needed some, I needed some new makeup. Um, somehow, mysteriously, a few of my brushes have come up missing and um, a few of my makeup items, but I am a mom of teenagers. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if I find them later in someone's room. So, um, the things that I picked up is this bag. It's a cosmetics bag, um, but I'm going to use it to store all of my brushes um, because I picked up a lot of brushes. Um, actually, I picked up all the brushes. I already had brushes, but who doesn't love brushes, right? So, I picked up. This is a good $60 worth of brushes. Um, I tried them out yesterday. I really like them. Um, and they, they're really cute, really good brushes. Um, and I have all sizes. Um, so hopefully I can step up my makeup game just a little bit. Um, I want to learn to cut crease. I never do cut creases, um, but I really want to learn. And winging is something that um, I'm trying to learn. You know, I'm an old school girl. I do old school makeup. Um, but my kids told me that I need to get with the trends. Um, so I bought some new brushes and some new things. And I'm going to try to learn all these new techniques. Okay. I also got this Maybelline um, concealer. Um, I've never used this before. So we're gonna give that a try today. I had to get some new mascara because mine mysteriously came up missing. Um, so this is the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. 
Maybelline usually has really good products, so I'm sure it's going to be just fine. I bought some eyeliners. So I bought the NYX Professional um, Eyeliner. I needed that just because my old one dried out. This is the eyebrow brush. I mean, not brush. It's a spoolie on one end and eyebrow pencil on the other end. Um, so I bought that and it's in a dark brown color. Um, I have a purple lip liner. I bought a pink lip liner, a purple eyeliner, and I bought this blue eyeliner. Um, I wore it the other day. It's really pretty. Um, actually, when you put it on, it's, it actually, even though it looks blue, it actually matched really, really, really good with um, this mint green eyeshadow palette that I just purchased. I also bought, and I bought this at Target. It's the NYX um, Liquid uh, Foundation, Total Control Drop Foundation. Um, I was very, very skeptical. Um, I'm funny about my foundations. I have been wearing MAC for years. Um, lately, I've been kind of venturing out, trying new things. So I purchased this. I really purchased it just to kind of see what it would do. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I first put it on. I was so upset because I thought that it was not a color match. But once it um, oxidized and it dried, it actually it was a perfect match. Um, so this I really liked. Um, it's different. It's different from what I'm used to. Um, but I do like it. And I'll probably buy it again. I picked up a eyelash curler um, and I saw, uh -oh, if I can get it open, I saw on a video that they said if you don't know how to do cut creases, okay, I saw on a video that they said if you, let's try it again. So I saw on a video, they said if you don't know how to do gut creases, buy you a eyelash curler that doesn't have the little round things on the end and you could put your concealer or your um, eyeshadow base on it and then you put it on your eye and it'll stamp out where to cut your crease so i already had an eyelash, uh, eyelash curler but i bought this one um because for one you can never have too many and then I'm going to use this one as my guide um, to learn how to cut crease, at least until I learn how to do it freehand. I bought some highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I usually buy golds and chromes, um, but I saw this and I just had to, um, I just had to try it. And then, you know, Highlighter can always double as a eyeshadow if you need it. So I picked up. Uh, this is one of the Warrior palettes from Juvia's Place. Um, as you can see, how pretty those colors are. These are more of the golds and the um, browns. I also got another one from Juvia's. Um, these are taupes. And then the manager waited until after I checked out to tell me, oh yeah, by the way, Juvia's new palettes are coming out next month. So you know I'll be back. 
Um, this one is becoming one of my favorites. I actually tried it on yesterday. Oh my God, I loved it. It was so freaking pretty. Um, these are the mints that I was talking about that matched so well with this eyeliner. Um, but it turned out so very pretty. And then I also, from Juvia's, um, bought this blush palette I was you know kind of on the fence because I like this one but the orange was just not you know I wasn't <laughs> the orange I wasn't too impressed with um, in the store but I got home I tried it on and it was very pretty I liked it um, I am a definite fan of that orange blush now Last, but not least. I picked up this coconut shave gel. Or it's a shaving oil, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sure if I bought it at Target. I believe I did. Um, but it is from Tree Hut. And, um, yeah. I'm not a fan of shaving creams. And my very last purchase, but one of my favorites. This is Juicy Couture. Um, it's called Sparkling Rebel. It's from their Play um, collection. And what I like about it, for one, it smells good. Um, and two, they have different scents and they all come in this pretty little bottle. And all you do is you take the cap off and then if you see this part on the bottom, you can stack them. So they won't take up a lot of room on your dresser. Um, so you just, you know, get rid of the cap or do whatever you're gonna do with the cap. And then you stack them one on top of the other. Um, but this, it smells good. It has a, um, it's not a sweet, sweet scent it's more of a um almost a sporty type scent but it smells good and juicy couture is definitely one of my favorite perfumes um so that is that for that now it's time for me to fix my face and meet my sister and my cousin um so I'm trying to decide if I want to do pink and purple or pink and green. Um, hmm. All I know for sure is there will definitely be some pink. I am feeling pink today. Um, hmm. I guess I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you shortly. This is why they tell you to trust the process. This foundation definitely looks like it's not my shade, right? Just wait till it ends. between purple or green to go with the pink. So I think I'm gonna do all three. <sighs> Thank you. 
time to get ready for dinner. <laughs>